George Santos, uh, are you a part of his uh, re-election campaign? No, I am not. <laughs> right. So no, he, he shouldn't run Have you done anything for that seat to try to get a, a Republican in? Oh, we're going we're gonna to keep that seat with another Republican. Yes, we are. We're going to keep that seat with another Republican. Yes, we are. It took him long enough to say that. And Santos himself did not take the speaker's comments lightly. He weighed in on this on Twitter. This is what Congressman Santos had to say. Dear media, I plan on continuing to serve the people of New York 3, providing excellent constituent services to the people of NY3, and proposing common sense conservative legislation for the betterment of our nation. Speaker McCarthy's comments do not change my intention of running. I know that Congressman George Santos is using the word serve very loosely, and he has not done much representing, but he has done a whole lot of defrauding, and that is Congressman Santos. Santos who faces a 13 count indictment in federal court in New York for a litany of crimes or criminal charges, including fraud, money laundering, and theft of public funds has nonetheless bowed to seek re-election like any good grifter. Prior to that 13 count indictment, we of course know Santos had already made a name for himself by fabricating his past. Let us remind you of some of the things he said about his own past, his mother's death on 9-11, an early Wall Street career. His Jewish heritage claimed he was a producer for the Broadway musical Spider-Man. Turn off the dark. Jessica, I can barely contain myself. Right now. I can't. What a do. brilliant guy. I just go ahead, Jessica. Way in now, because let me get myself together. Yeah, I mean, seeing the Spider-Man one is a big one. Out of all the things Congress people lie about in the United States, Santos has just gone for the comedy. He said, "Forget it. I'm just going to make myself memorable." The way he made his profile photo on Twitter right now as himself with sunglasses on and a bunch of cameras around him is hilarious. Just the litany of criminal charges and the litany of controversies and absurd lies. Lies, lies told for no apparent reason. It seems that he's doing it all for fun. And as much as I enjoy watching, hearing McCarthy laugh about it as well, um, I don't know how I feel about that. The way McCarthy's so confident they can just get another Republican in there, it's just gonna be some random guy, potentially. Someone just like George Santos, someone wearing glasses and the fake nose again with a false identity and just makes up their resume as well. I think let's just keep the trend going. Yeah, that's how they like their Republicans. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, you know what? I really believe that George Santos is preparing for his next career. As a reality TV star, I really do. Yeah. We shouldn't sleep on the on the brother. That's what he prepared for his next job. Now, prior to that 13 count indict, well, we know prior to the 13 count indictment, he fabricated all kinds of things that we listed. And as of May this year, a vast majority of Americans think Santos should resign. Here's the graph of that. Do you think George Santos should resign his seat in the House of Representatives? In that beautiful purple, we see 64% of Americans say yes, 21% not sure, and 15% no. But that does not stop George Santos, who probably thinks he's a mini me Donald Trump. So he's just gonna keep the lies flowing and just hope that people forget, or he's just gonna wait it out. That's what Republicans are very good at, just waiting it out and taking advantage of the short memory that many of us have. Congressman Santos is the gift that keeps on, or Santos. <laughs> Jesus, I can't keep. <laughs> Santos, Santos, they all the same. It's the gift that keeps on giving. We will have more on him, I'm sure, as the days and months goes go by.